Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna have to wait for that to cool down. All right. But I can still well down here. It is cold. Oh, with the bottle? Nice. Oh, nice. Mm, I'm sorry I took off some of your priming, but oh, appreciate it. It gets in the way. Oh, that's cool. Um, that's that's a big gap. It is. <laughs> You're gonna have to build it up like a castle. Yep. But this castle is kind of like sand. <laughs> <laughs> the moment we start moving, everything just topples. <laughs> this happens a lot. You can look up. What the shit? It bent the whole thing? <laughs> no, it didn't bend. I just pulled oh, it straight onto this instead of both of them. Smooth. Right, yeah. Basically use it as a handle to, I don't know, hold nothing. <laughs> so now it's tacked here, here, and this one I'm coming back to. Okay. Bring it in. Oh, because you can't uh, flow it in and stitch it together? No. The way to, if you try to do that, it's a lot like having two pieces of butter like two sticks of butter and you're trying to get them together by melting it with a hot knife in the middle oh snap it'll work if you're slow or working slow with it but the moment it heats too much it just goes through further down so that's how this is yeah okay all right there we go mm -hmm. I had uh, a DVD, a DVD DVD inserts systems that came with it. There was the muffler was in there. His wife's dress oh, was his wife's dress was in there. His ex wife his ex wife was in there. Yeah, yeah that's a whole different story. Uh, he, he he got rid of his wife, so he, his wife his wife didn't want to be with him anymore. So he, he just wanted to sell everything that was in it. He just thought, you know what, the car. Yeah, the car. That's a good place to put you. I'm going to get that too. <laughs> I might as well. All right. So now that's good. I'm going to it. We're going to go. To be honest, if I didn't have that steel job, I would have no clue what you're talking about. <laughs> nice. Right now, I'm just alternating between this side and that side, just because I keep it from um, or overheating. And now I'm about to try and fill in that. Okay. There you go. Yes. Oh, okay. So like when you're trying to get it to make that spark, does it not want to make the spark sometimes? Uh, the reason happens is because I'm getting too close to the metal, so it'll stick itself to it. Oh. Another reason they call it stick welding. <laughs> <laughs> but um, the the magical distance you're trying to keep from the welding rod itself to the metal mm -hmm. is the thickness of the welding rod. So for example, oh crap, that's small. It's, yeah, that's oh. why it, it's hard to do with a rod, and we're zooming in on it. Okay. So. 
this is the material that you're gonna weld on. Um, the space between that and that. Oh my god. That's where you have to be in order for the arc to form and then not stick and also have a proper filling and or cutting. I'll see why they pay welders what they pay. <laughs> they pay you more like a doctor. That's that's a lot of precision work. <laughs> right now I'm making 1320 as a welder and that is not good. What the heck? Exactly. I need to pay I need you to get way out of more there. than there. <laughs> have you ever tried Eagle Fabricators? I have not. Oh, they pay them more. <laughs> There's Eagle and Trinity, Trinity uh, Fabrication. For now, this is fun. So, here we go. Teeny tiny rod yes. welding. Let's do that. Ooh. Ooh. You got a good spark there. Got over here really fast. Hey, it's stuck to it, so I can grind it later. <laughs> so, now I gotta fill in here. Oh, it made a little hole? Mm -hmm. That's what she is. There we go. She's a good one. She's a hot one. Oh yeah. Uh -uh, I didn't grab into anything. So. As you cool down. This spot's too hot now. I'm gonna go back up here. Okay. Got a big spark right here. Get out of there. Yeah, I need Sorry. to get a MIG. I'm gonna get a MIG. <laughs> <laughs> the MIG makes it a lot easier. This just takes more time and effort. It does. Well, it, I'm gonna get a MIG. It's a lot slower. And Slow. that's the problem with it. A lot of people don't like it. Okay, I'm gonna try going down here. The cheaper way just involves more headache. Yeah. <laughs> but it's cheaper. Uh oh. Completely moved away from where I was going. Mm -hmm. Are you doing your little hold the stick thing? Yeah. Wow, nice. Yes, and that's what I saw at Greyhound. <laughs> Never look into the bright. Nope. Yes, okay. Well, top to bottom though is good for low penetration because this is thin metal. Good. But the problem with it is, you gotta crack. No. no. That's how it'll look. Not too bad. The problem is, no matter how light of a penetration it is, it's still gonna cause a warp on the back. That's how you get the holes that I'm getting right now. But you see that rust -oleum? I'm just gonna go behind it. Nobody's gonna see it behind it, so I don't really care what it looks like behind it. It's gonna be rust -oleum. Um, For me, it's more because of the structural integrity of it that that's what matters to me okay so that's the only reason i'm mentioning it but it won't crack right so oh okay cool as is it'll hold but i don't want it to stay like that i want this to be <laughs> okay i see what you mean now because i'm gonna probably get some ham uh yeah Oh yeah. Feels like it's 
I see why you need so many sticks. I might as well probably find a really big pack. I think oh. I would probably need about maybe five of those for all the spots on this car. Five, maybe five or six packs of those. If I, if I do this right, you should need only two. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, I mean, for the whole car in general, I'm, I'm just thinking about just buying enough for the whole project. I yeah. think I'm gonna just buy it all at once. I recommend, yeah. If you can buy in big packets of them, do it in bulk. Everything's better in bulk when it comes to that. All right, here we go. Ooh. Pretty. Just doing small packs. Because the metal's in. But I'm doing kind of close to each other, so that way it's less welding later on. Right, no, uh, I don't even need to seal that, so I'll probably just end up, uh, well, you'll see, I'll show you later. <laughs> some stuff, some stuff I got to prevent it from rusting. Yeah. Back goes on the helmet. Yep. Job. I wanted to make it like my truck because I love red. <laughs> hey, nothing wrong. But with I, that. I, I, I did think or... about. Uh, to be honest, the every I don't know if you've seen this up here, but you see this wall of cardboard up here. That's yeah. everything that needs to be done to the car. The, co the color of this car is spinnaker white. Spinnaker white. Yeah, you'll see it on the inside of the door. It's, it's spinnaker white, so that color doesn't cost that much. But Got it. I would like it to be red. But clear coat. No primer? Uh, well, you don't need primer to clear coat, do you? Uh, I don't, if you just... clear one, yeah, but I don't know. I'm not, I'm not too big on that. It does look pretty good. It would look pretty good in clear, wouldn't it? I would just have to buff. I have a buffer over, a really good uh, rust remover restore over there that I got from uh, Porter Cable. Mm -hmm. I could go ahead and do it and just wear it in clear. It would just have to... Sweet. I'm gonna try it again. Helmet on. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh, I got a couple of sparks over here. I love it. Mm. I do not. Ooh, they're hot. Why did I touch that? <laughs> I don't know. It's the kid in me. Oh, what's that? Touch that. Oh, it was just warm. It was okay. Sorry, that, was, that, that was funny. All right. All right. I don't know why I touched that. It's just, it's the kid in me. This is why my nieces and nephews love me. Oh, yeah. Jonathan's fun. I know why. Because he's still a kid on the inside. Yeah. <laughs> why did I touch that? I don't know why I touched it. It couldn't help myself. Bring on my dad's food. Ahead, man, pajama. Oh, but I already got started. Yeah, sweet. We got chisels. Oh, I didn't know that. You need chisels? Mmm. 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 Closed. Oh, I could just make this into a movie and link it on, link it to like reference your channel on your YouTube channel. <laughs> Maybe. I think I got like 80 subscribers. Nice. Or something. Not that many. Mm. 
small hole, but at least it's tacked together now, Jeez. which means I can just fill upward. So here we go. So you like following the path of it to see how it's gonna flow or? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. It's uh, I'm just guessing out loud. It's a dry run. <laughs> so what you do is kind of plan it out. I'm gonna see if this works. And if it doesn't, I go back to going from Dripping top it. to bottom. <laughs> oh, and it's about gravity, so. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, I didn't even think about that until now, it's gravity. Very tiny little space, and it's unforgiving. <laughs> so, so it's better if I try to get the get the gaps really perfect. The smaller the gap, the better. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll work on making all the gaps really, really tight. In fact, if you want a, an even better way to do it, is just make it overlap. Mm -hmm. um, because at that point, I have more material to work with. I can do the trunk. <laughs> you got. It. Right, there you go. Yes. When it's super hot, it blows right through it, huh? Yeah, I'm not liking it, so I'm gonna go top to bottom again. Okay. Uh-uh. No, mm. no. Got too hot. Very quick. Still went down a little bit. Mm -mm. Yeah, that big space isn't worth it. Uh -uh. So, <clears throat> I guess you could drip it Towards the right, maybe? No, not really. At that point, it's just gonna keep going. So, there's a piece of metal behind it. I can't see any gaps. Well, at least not on the phone, at least. Plenty to grind down too. <laughs> Smoke it. That's what? How can you feel that it didn't uh, touch on anything? Uh, it's more of just watching everything fall off. Oh. It kind of built upward, but it so it welded onto the bottom one, but not into the top. So onto the piece, but not onto the body. 
Okay. But we're gonna continue anyway. Sweet. I can't stay in the same place because it's already overheated. Section is pretty okay from here to here. From there to there. And that corner. <laughs> it's just down to that one little gap. Yeah. This one right here is the scale. It's better like that anyway. Because it's making the best contact onto it, but it's still a hard thing to get. Let me go back. Kill this down. It's like a little cigar. That's what you don't want. Oh, that smoke? Yeah. That means the rod got overheated. But. Like and a, the rest of it decided nah. It was nah. in three parts. It's like, what, about two more parts to it? Yeah. Here we go. I'm gonna try and build upward. Up on the enough. Almost got him here. He's up for a good day. Getting all swimmy headed from being down so low. <laughs> Leg hurts. Leg. Need a pillow? Nah. I don't want to catch fire like that. <laughs> oh. Not today. Do they have wielding pillows? <laughs> I bet they do. Somebody's made one. If they did, they might be making some good money. Yeah. Because this is not comfy. Mm -mm. This part of it. Well, I mean, if you had one of those little roller things and you could lock the wheels, like the little floor rollers, yeah, I would get one of those. We have one of those, but I think you would be up a little bit too high than you need to be. Well, when you're going straight down on it. Yep. Ready? Sit. Go. First, you have the first strike of it, which right now is hard to do for me. But once you get it, Oh, yeah, it's pretty. Yeah. Oh, you're closing up the holes on that one? No, no, no. I just found one, and that's where it struck best. <laughs> nice. But, um...
Yeah, yeah. Dirty? Feeling a bit shy. Oh, okay. Uh oh. Spaghetti, huh? It's really rusty. Yeah, I need to clean it off with some more vinegar water and my tool. I have a tool I can clean it off with real quick. No, no, no. That's not the problem. The problem is that it's really rusty, which means it's really thin. Yeah. So, another filler rod. Oh, it went straight through? Yeah. Nice. Has another, uh, another story. Yeah. Another war story. Oh, sweet. Yeah, I see what you mean now. <laughs> uh, next time, I'll probably take the seat out. <laughs> Whoa, dude. That is a whole lot faster. Yeah. Seem to be getting performance anxiety. <laughs> Looking pretty sick. Thank you. There you go. Yeah. Oh, I'm taking the light away. Smells like burnt pe- How in the heck do you train yourself to go that slow? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I probably should have cleaned the paint more. <laughs> So took some of the paint off. Yeah. So right here, it's a little extra rusty. Yeah. So it's it's less metal than what there is everywhere else. Well, I'm gonna take some of that Rust-Oleum stuff and I'm gonna paint. I'm end up painting all this with it anyway. So it, and it's I mean, gonna be carpet there. Hey, right now it's already structured. It's it's fine. This part right here is fine. Over here you're not.
Me likey. You okay? Sorry about that. I sat down. Yeah, yeah, the little bitty ones. Is that fixable or would I, could I just You might cut, have to replace it, but right Or now, cut it through and could I just put something on top of it? Right now it's fine. I mean, are you just cover it up? Because right here is good. That's what matters. And over here seems to be okay. Mm -hmm. Solid-ish. Uh, most of your pressure is going to be there, over there for your foot. And if you're ever going to put your foot to rest, it's going to be here, but you're not going to be stomping down at it. Mm -mm. So that should be fine. I might just put some bond over there. Oh, well, then, yeah, you can do it, project. You know, right here is a pretty easy place to weld, and you can even prop yourself on here. So, you get to be comfortable. Yes. Mm. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So, what's the next part? Or Next part? Ugh. I'm try to get right here. I think I might have to beat that down in there, huh? Or try to bend it? No, nah, just. Oh, lay it over that, it and, and go for I it? Weld it, and that's it. Cool. It'll stay where it is. Man, this is epic. Now I can actually drive it. <laughs> well, not <laughs> drive it when it rains. Ah, yeah. <laughs> well, even before it, I'm thinking about extra busy. I'm thinking think, this is this was really the main. The see the same thing is over here. It's just a smaller part. It's not way up there, but it's in the center. See the hole is? Oh, there it is. Yeah, this one's gonna be easier because it's not at an angle. It's, it's just that one little spot right there on the frame wheel. So this one's a lot easier to do. I just haven't cut that out. I said, nobody's gonna miss me. That's this guy. Oh, like the old school wrap, I put that on, I stitched this on myself. Well, nice. I wrapped it myself. It works. Yeah. Huh. I could make it look prettier, but I want to make sure it wouldn't come off. So I put it on there really, really tight. But I could always re-thread it. Getting this whole steering wheel on there, that was a hassle. Just realized this thing had emergency lights right here. Mm -hmm. Didn't even know it had that. <laughs> but that's the one thing I wanna do, because I'm not even gonna be using this. I'm not gonna use the antenna. I'm gonna get a digital antenna and stick it up here. And it's all gonna be in there, man. My dad's gonna be trying to drive this thing. Well, I'm gonna probably let him drive it. All right, quiz question. What's that button do? <laughs> see if you can figure you it out. say button or pedal? Yeah, that little button right there. You see it? Right here? Yeah, what do you think that does? Need a hint? Is that how you honk? No. In that case, I don't know. That is the button for the high beams and the low beams on the light. Nice down. I swear this smells like pop tarts. I'm just hungry. I'm always hungry. Didn't you see me always in that break room? <laughs> At TSU. Yeah, I was always hungry. That's why I was in there. That's not good. I eat all the time. I think it ate through the metal. Uh oh. Eating through a little bit. Mm -hmm. But it is holding. So right now what's going on is it's really really thin then. Here it's melting through, but underneath it, the little bit of metal that's still there, it is holding. So, yeah, it's it's not. really paper thin. You can see how thin it is. But it's holding. Okay. So would you weld another piece of metal on top of it or would you just keep trying to try it until it sticks? I'm gonna fill it with 
the oh the metal thing That's my one friend in California and this other girl I used to work at CVS with. They really like cars. <laughs> it's going so well. <laughs> Alright, here we go. You have to push down. How you quickly fill a hole early enough. <laughs> uh, gonna come back to it. Broke it off again. It's a really slow process. I'm loving it. And then I practiced for a little bit and failed a little bit. And those are my good welds there that I did. It's fun, feels dangerous, and it's crazy at the same time. It's controlled chaos. Thanks, Francisco. Do the stick dance. <laughs> Here we don't go. It's been weird. Yeah, Is it plugged in? Right. It's plugged in. I hear it humming. Is it getting hot? Ready. Uh -huh. There it is. That's there what it was. Be a good princess stick. Yeah, you see it glowing red? Yes. Yeah. That's what you don't want. Oh, so that stick's done? <laughs> you see chop it in half? Oh snap, it just kept burning. No, oh, that's how hot it is. Ooh. But you see that because of all the oil that's been on my gloves. For Number N. There. 
very almost done. As soon as you said something. Uh-oh. Little hole. Got a little too hot. But I can still fill it in. It's no biggie. There you go. takes about hmm, takes about oh about 30 seconds for an inch about <laughs> yeah about 30 seconds every 30 seconds you get a you get a good inch in it's a good loading time <laughs> that should hold for now Throw of hammers over here. Yeah. All right. Helmet. Ready. Ready. Tech. Every tech comes with a hole now. Yeah. <laughs> it's two for it's a two for one. It's a two for one ventilation and it holds on pretty well. Just like a net. trying to avoid making any holes the closer I get over there. Yeah, it's paint over there. That's why it's, it's probably still some of the paint that's making it uh, pop like that too. You yeah. think it reacts to the paint? You need a clean surface to weld, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's probably reacting to the paint. That's okay. Hmm. <clears throat> <clears throat> trying to see where else I could... They show me to get my grinder out and grind it real good. Mm. Uh, that would help. Yeah. But oh. It's, uh, that's something we should do before putting on the this metal. It's too late now. Yeah. So we just work through with it. Here we go. All right. That's beautiful. Yeah, I do. I love it. You can hear the little. That's the bubbling from the the rust. But still, still, still holding. It'll make it. Oh, we're testing to see if it'll crack. I'm just taking off the um, scale. So what happens is as you're welding. Mm -hmm. You get the bare metal, which is the weld, and then you get this outer coating. We call it a uh, scale, because it comes off just like a scale. And, um, that stuff is basically this stuff. Oh, the flux? Yeah. Hmm. But burnt out. Okay. Let's keep going. I 
mean, it's like 80% done to me. Ooh. Helmet. and then I'm gonna start bending over there. thing over there. Oh, the one you bit. Oh, you use that one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's stuck to the, another welding rod. I see. There we go. Turn it on. How's your back? I got a back brace. Oh, okay. Yeah, all this bending and stuff will probably kill my back. I have to wear my back brace when I have to sit down this low. My long spaghetti legs. <laughs> Lights messing it up. Well, throwing you off. Ready? Yes. I would, I would close that garage door, but I don't want us to be covered in smoke in here. I want it to no, ventilate. You don't want that. Yeah. Uh, you gotta, you gotta let it ventilate. Back at it again. Back at it again. Yeah. 
Cool. Man, you did that fast. One of them already bent. Just one bent. Just a tiny bit. I raised it up just a little bit. That way the arc should be easier to start. The problem is I'm gonna have to move a little faster. What do you got it on? Oh, you can't really tell. Just whatever. Not here. Yeah. Oh, over there. Should be right at 43. <laughs> Oof. And that stick is sort of still usable. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good amount right there. Especially right here, there's a there's a big gap. Not as big as that one up there. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a that's something a wide boy. I think this is pretty much one of the most important parts of the car <laughs> next to the trunk because it holds the gas on so nah. so i'm gonna be i'm gonna be working on getting that getting the trunk because that's pretty much the only sheet metal i need to buy is the trunk so i'm gonna work on getting that trunk right. so i just learned from this other guy he just the guy showed you that dylan mccool to mm -hmm. not go crazy with cutting because if you don't have anything to lay on to work with then you end up the metal is only as long as you can have it so he just said be very careful when you're just cutting stuff away <laughs> oh, well, i think we learned that a little bit today yeah <laughs> got a little don't get too crazy don't get too crazy if you do Ooh. You can't go back to being so how'd that beat go let's hit it and quit <laughs> that's how he ends the song yeah. you make me want to watch blues brothers now give it a go
There it is. See if I can bring it down instead of shutting it up. Right? So, okay. Alright, whenever you're ready, I'm ready. Well, except for that, well, you gotta let it cool down, like you said, huh? It's bothering you. Tiny little hole. So I'm, oh, I think I'm almost at it. Yeah, I'm, all, I'm right there. Oh, okay, cool. I'm getting to it. I'd say it's at about 90% now. Yeah. It's got another 10% to go. Compared to the whole thing overall. of it to get it was worse than this believe it or not oh, man it was oh it was a lot worse <laughs> it was layers of rust like like frosting in that case it, good I got, job man. i got it to where it is now that's how that's how much better it is i'll give you a nickel for that uh, i'll give you rascals that. That means it's holding. It would have split up by now. Yeah, I'll just have to get under there and paint up real good. Yep. And I'll have to use seam sealer on the opposite side of it too. Yeah, sure will. Such a tangle. Alright, ready? Ready. Okay. 
Mm. Came a long way. Yeah. Long way. It's just these curves. If it wasn't for the curves, like it would be, I know it would be a whole lot easier. Just a whole lot easier. That's the way it has to be.